On the table, it is all about Bakugan Battle Planet. Hey, it's another reboot, Barry. All right, I love reboots. And I love Bakugan. Watch this. Oh. Whoa, big gray squirrel. I had no idea. So on the table, I have six Bakugans to share today. I tried to pick up a Bakugan from each of the main character attributes. Pyrus, Aquas, Heos, Ventus, Darkus, Orlius. Did I say any of those right? Quite a bit to learn when you're a newcomer to Bakugan. Most of my Bakugan knowledge is from Happy Meal from years ago. Diving deep into the Squirrel Stampede archives, you'll find some very strange Bakugan videos. Wow, what was that about? Poor Hello Kitty. Anyhow, let's get this going and start checking out these amazing transforming little spheres. We'll start off with the most identifiable Bakugan around, the Bakugan Dragonoid. You often see this one being front and center on many Bakugan graphic materials, and I believe I just saw this guy as the Bakugan Warrior in Monster Jam, with a large portion of his truck shell being torn off in freestyle. Anyhow, from what my knowledge of Bakugan is, and very little it has been, this Bakugan thrown by the main character Dan Kaozo, who is on the box, and is a part of the main team of awesome ones. So if there's one Bakugan to get, this is the one to look for. On the back of the card, we have an image of Dragonoid up front. Each basic assortment Bakugan comes with one Bakugan, two Baku cores, and one character card, or gameplay of course, and a quick little demonstration of pop open Baku action. Also, download the app for smart devices. I have found that very handy on gameplay tips. So now it's time to open up Dragonoid out of real life pack. Too bad the packs don't open up like the Bakugans do. And at Dragonoid outside of the box, we have our two Baku cores, and we have our character card. Looks like a tough dude. Dragonoid red and orange. Looks pretty menacing. So to sphere up or ball into, is that how you would say it? We're going to have to fold those arms, head, wings, and tail inside. Fairly light in construction. How would we do this first? Maybe the arms? Oh, it looks like we're gonna have to rotate those legs in. Get those arms. Gotta have all your fingers ready to go on this sort of thing. Head in. Ah, we've done it. We've snapped him into a sphere. Spins around, pretty balanced. Obviously there's some rolling in the game. You have to roll your Bakugan onto a Baku core. How does he roll? Hmm. Whoop. Imagine it's gonna take some time to learn what the best way to throw these guys. So to pop open your Bakugan, say that was on your battle arena and you hit it. Oh, I almost hit that one, the magnet just touched it. There we go, pretty ingenious. There is a magnet under this card that helps release your Bakugan, and it holds pretty tight. And in somewhat of a gameplay description, we would then take our B number 200 and add it to this. B150, are we greater or lesser than our opponent? Something like that. Reading some of the past Bakugan series threads online, I found it humorous that many people admitted that they never really played the game, they just played and collected with the Bakugan toys. Curious if that was your experience in the past. I'm impressed how well that popped open. Let's try one more time. I'm sure once you get the hang of it, these will be easier to close up. I'm just gonna drop it this time onto the Baku core. Whoa, there we go. Very springy and ingenious. Let's check on Trox for next. Trox also being a part of the awesome ones with Winton Styles. This one I picked up rather quickly just because I always like the T-Rex stuff. On the back of the card, Trox. Looks like many of the Bakugan I collected today are a challenge difficult to level. Trox green attributed to Ventus or Wind. Trying to still get all these attributes in line. 
Very well, let's stamp out Trox. Out of the box, it's Trox. Mean and green, of course. For some reason, this Trox had a few more things in the box than Dragonoid. We actually have two cards. Defending Roar and our Trox Ultra card. We also have helpful instructions on folding up Trox. And on the back of that, we have a Collect Them All character guide. Also, we have the toy battling game rules, so that's kind of important too. Really weird that Dragonoid didn't have that. This will help you figure out the game. So let's fold up Trox, see if I could do this based off the instructions. The first thing we're going to need to do is do something with those feet. Looks like we're gonna rotate these feet in somehow. That tail's gotta go somewhere. Let's rotate the body around. Lock in that head. And finally this tail piece is gonna come into play. Kinda bend that tail in and push him in. Trox is quite the challenge compared to Dragonoid. Let's pop him onto a Baku core. Where's the activation point on this one? Is it here? Oh, there it is. I like how he holds it under his chin. That's pretty funny. Give me that back. Arms didn't pop out though. Those might be secondary things that you're gonna have to do. Yeah, the arms are not on springs, so there's still some parts of the Bakugan characters that you're going to need to transform yourselves. There we go, he didn't totally pop up. And again, with the under chin card demonstration, I love that. Ah, so I just noticed why some come with more cards. I had picked those up over at Walmart with Pegatrix and Dragonoid coming from Target. Looks like the Walmart packs are labeled Bakugan Ultra, the Target packs are just Bakugan. So we have two different sizes of basic Bakugan packs. Checking out Pegatrix first. Pegatrix on the back of the card. Let's break out. Pegatrix out and about. Whew, this one's kind of hard to see. Hmm, maybe this will help. My eyes! Yeah, that might be just too much. Inside the box, our Pegatrix card. Some great artwork going on with these. Wow, a B500. That's pretty powerful, right? Right? And a couple Green Fist Baku cores included. Like Dragonoid, no instructions, so we'll just have to figure this out on the fly. Should be fairly easy, though. I usually kind of like to start with those legs, maybe. This one's kind of stuck. What's going on? Oh, that's because of this wing. All right, legs, wings, tail, and head. There we go. That's funny, the unicorn head just totally pokes inside itself. And where is our activation point with this one? Somewhere, probably right there. Pegatrix! This one is one to look for. I like this one a lot, just hard to see on the table. This next one is not to be missed. We have Halcor, Bakugan of Lightning the Dog. Yes, that's right, Dan has a dog who also throws Bakugan, a French bulldog character that plays with a dog Bakugan. That makes this one just extra special, doesn't it? On the back of the card, a great image of Halcor. Three-headed dog, oh no, there's that word again, uh, Cherberus? Cerberus. Oh, oh man, I never can get that right. Funny, with all those heads, this one is only classified as a level 1 in difficulty. Alright, Halcor, let's tug of war you out of the package. Halcor out of the box, looking fantastic. A little easier to see than Pegatrix. <laughs> what do we got for cards? There's Umbral Slash. Well, that's got to be painful. And there we go. Halcor Ultra. Again, this one from Walmart comes with instructions. But in some way, I'm finding these just better to just kind of fiddle around with. Let's figure this out. Got this head on top. These four legs on the bottom, they're a challenge. Hmm. Oh boy, Halcor.
Got the wings that fold in. You're gonna need to use every finger on this guy. Yeah, I honestly don't know how I did that. That is an amazing fold-up Bakugan toy. Might just use the making a snowball technique with it. All right, let's pop him out. Looks like we have a nice little DNA strand here. And where would be the release point? Usually I think where that little number imprint is. You can kind of see his heads, those three heads right up on top. And here we go. Oh. Oh, there, it's upside down. Oh dear, Halcor. Malfunctioning Halcor. Hmm. I like how he holds the Baku core on his head. Popping out though, a little difficult. Let me try folding him up again, trying this one more time. Oh boy, that's a challenge. It really helps to get this green tail tab to lock into Halcor's mouth, but even then, a little tricky. So maybe I read the challenge difficulty chart wrong. One must be the hardest. And one more time. Whoa. Okay, that one popped out, so he should be functioning properly now. Also, don't forget, you can kind of manually pull up these ears a little more Halcor-like. Yeah, yeah, I'm going. We did dog last, so now let's do cat with Irolus Hydrolus. Did I say that right? With Irolus Hydrolus. Irolus Hydrolus. Hydorus. Hi, Hydorus. I don't know. On the back of the card, an image of Hyrolus. <laughs> On the back of the box, an image of this lion Bakugan. Also a level one in difficulty, we'll see how it goes. And out of the pack with Hydorus. Are those back legs working right? Ah, there we go. I think it's standing on fours now. What do we have for cards? Counter Aquas. Doesn't seem to match this one as much as the others. And of course, Hydorus Ultra. So would this be my first gold? Included for Baku cars, we have a shield and another helix. And we should have some instructions too. They're somewhat helpful in case you get kind of stuck somewhere. Looks like we're gonna start with the back legs, then work on the front, then roll them together. This part in here is really technical. I don't even know how to wrap my head around this. Oh, I got it somehow. I recall these guys being on the Simpsons once, and they really did some things. Okay, almost got it. Head inside, just like a cat, taking a nap. Oh, I think we got it. Oh, there's always a foot popping out. Okay, I don't want to touch it. I can't believe I did that one. That back section was really weird. All right, let's pop him out. Where would be the point? Sometimes, ah, he just popped off screen on his head. Let's try that again. Oh boy, now I have to try to fold him back. Whew, that one was trickier than the first time. But I think I got him. All right, let's try rolling again. I need to just add some more cores to the field. Very well, there's nothing can stop us now, nothing! <laughs> oh. Once again, on the head though, I suppose if you give them a much faster roll, we'll really get some air. This one is still popping kind of funny, but I like it a lot. If you can say this Bakugan's name, Go ahead and pick it up. The last Bakugan of the day, Aquos Sindios. On the back of the card, a nice image of Sindios. Kind of a strange Bakugan knight character. I like the orange sword attack on this one. Well then, let's open this final one up. Sindios, or is that Sinidios? I can never get these right. Pretty snappy looking Bakugan though. Cards. Bubble Net, and there we go, Sindius Ultra. Another Helix Baku Core and another Green Fist Baku Core, and instructions. Who needs instructions? Let's figure this out ourselves. Almost looks like this foot didn't deploy, but it's supposed to be set back like that. 
I'll try their feet first. Torso in. Sword in. Gotta get the sword in somehow. Something happened here. I got a foot that didn't go in. Retry this guy. Whoa! That was cool. Oh, and I love how he uses it as a shield. Let me try folding him again though. Had that foot issue. This one's not too bad of a fold. Work with the legs first, then maybe start with the back paneling and then the head. Fold down the inside body. Works pretty well. Let's try bringing back some of these cores. Oh! Woo, that was close. Okay, there we go. I sense good things with this one. But I sense more good things with this roll. Oh! Always off camera. Let's try one more time. There we go. I think I like this one as one of the better ones today. Easier to fold up and quick to release. And there is the Bakugan Battle Planet collection we saw today. Each and every one of these has been a lot of fun to look at. I hope I didn't call out too much trouble on these as I am still very new to Bakugan this time around. They're fun. They're perfect travel-ready toys you can bring with you anywhere, play anywhere. Some of them can get quite complex, others can be quick and easy. It's a worthy reboot. I will have to check out the Cartoon Network show. I think it's over here. Uh-oh. Bakugan Battle Planet arrives on store shelves February 2019. Each Bakugan Ultra and Bakugan figures approximately $9.99. Keep in mind, Ultra has extra cards and instructions. If you're a fan of the classic world of Bakugan and want to jump back in, or are new to this world and these delightfully colorfully transforming spheres catch your eye, you have to give it a try. I enjoyed these immensely today, they were quite a bit of fun. That's what I have to say about that. A Bakugan squirrel would have a tail attack that would knock all game pieces to the floor. Thanks for watching Squirrel Stampede. Please, like, share, subscribe.